Ready? Okay, so today we're going to begin by learning how to prepare the herbarium specimen by gluing it onto the paper. Last time we stopped with pressing the plants. So now I have a plant press, I'm going to open it up and I have a sample that I opened before and moved it around and now I have a dry pressed specimen. So I'm going to remove the sample from the newspaper. I have a leaf that fell off, but that's not an issue. I can still, still use this. So I'm taking this sample out of the press. And I have made sure, before I got to this point, that the sample was going to fit onto the, my herbarium sheet. So I now have my herbarium paper and the sample that I'm going to attach to the herbarium sheet. So I'm going to move this sample around and make sure that I have um, it properly placed and have an idea where I'm going to put it. I also have this one leaf that is detached, but I don't care because I can actually put this leaf and glue it on so that I can see the underside of the foliage. And that can be placed on the paper as well. So I'm going to put this side up on the paper. Begin by taking a little bit of herbarium glue. This lid was stopped up, so I'm just putting a little bit into the container here. And I think this stuff looks to be the same as Elmer's Carpenter's Glue. It's this yellow color. I don't think there's any difference in that. And I've noticed that I've covered my table with a plastic drop cloth so that I'm not going to mess up my table. And I just begin by placing glue, just painting it onto the back of my sample. Okay, and this way I'm not doing this on the herbarium paper. I'm doing it on the plant itself. If this is too thick, you can always thin the glue with a little bit of water. Just paint this on. And I want to get some on the stem. And this is a little thick. This is going to take a while because you've got to make sure that you get the surfaces of the leaves covered with the glue. And some dabs here. Now I'm going to have to be careful when I place this down because it's going to, going to grab as soon as it gets there. So I'll place this onto the paper and then just press it down. And I, obviously I'm going to need a little more glue with this piece of the stem. dry. Now this way I can see that the leaf arrangement is alternate, that I have my simple leaves and that they are placed so that I can see what the margins look like, how they're arranged, and that it is a simple leaf. Now with this one piece that I had that fell off, this gives me a chance to show what the underside of the leaf looks like because on this plant this has actually got a little bit of downy hair on the underside of the leaf. So I'm going to put glue on the top of this one. And then I can glue this one onto the sheet to show what the leaf underside looks like. And then finally, I've left room on here for to put the plant label. So I can glue on the plant label with a little bit of remaining glue. And this label is available on Angel in a folder that has herbarium resources and it has the name of the plant. You just fill in the information. There's a blank template for there, there for you to fill in. And we place this sample label on the edge of the sheet. And you may want to put some weight back on these samples until they, until the glue dries. And you should have all of your samples together, five samples, different trees per person, 
and then they can be turned in together in some sort of a, of a container or wrapped together with string to with uh, surrounded by newspaper. But when you submit your uh, collection, you should have it bound together in some way.